Begin self-publishing episode number 73. Why I do NaNoWriMo. Interested in self-publishing but don't know where to start? Want to get your book onto Amazon? Want to hold your paperback book in your hands? Learn how on the Begin Self-Publishing podcast with your host, Tim Lewis. For those of you that aren't aware, NaNoWriMo is an event originally started in the US and it stands for National Novel Writing Month. It's one of these strange multi-letter acronym words. For the last two years I've done NaNoWriMo, which spans the month of November. And the challenge is to write 50,000 words within November. I've actually won NaNoWriMo the last two years. As in, I've completed 50,000 words in each month. And the majority of the last two books I've written have actually been written in November in NaNoWriMo. In terms of the first draft, obviously. So why do I do NaNoWriMo? And why is it so effective to actually get me writing? when I'm not effective writing in the rest of the year. Well, I found it tremendously useful as a way of getting me to write for a number of reasons. Firstly, it has a little online dashboard where you can enter in the number of words you've written each day and it shows you how you're doing against the target of 50,000 words at the end of the day. Now, obviously, you can do this with other software. For example, Scrivener has a target feature within it. But I do like the uh, dashboard that NaNoWriMo gives you. And I think it's one of the features why I like NaNoWriMo as a challenge in terms of writing a book. The other major reason why I think NaNoWriMo works for me is that there's a tremendous sense of community with other people in your area who are also doing NaNoWriMo. Now, I'm sure this is probably different if you don't live in a big city like London, where there are lots of other people doing NaNoWriMo at the same time. But even so, you can go to your local regional area and message people and see who else is doing it. And even better than that, for places like London, you can go and join other people to write words in the November period. There's also a large set of community events like parties and what are called writings, where you do sit and write with other people. And I found writings to be particularly useful for getting the words written, because you're, you've are you got the peer pressure of other people around you who are also writing, tapping away on their laptops in a coffee shop or wherever the writing happens to be. And I usually do well over my word count for the day in the couple of hours where these writings take place. Now, I've got an advantage there. Because I was a software developer for almost 20 years, my typing speed is pretty quick. So when I do get concerted time to actually write, I can write a lot of words, a fairly short amount of time. The other great feature about NaNoWriMo is compared to, say, joining a writing group, is you get a very much more mixed set of people. And there isn't quite the snobbery that you can get, and this is obviously... Not true with every writing group. There's some very nice writers out there. But you do tend to see a lot of the time with writing groups that there are people who are very ingrained with the traditional publishing mindset. And there is a, can be at times a little bit of the envy of other people in the group that you can get in writing groups. Where in NaNoWriMo, it tends to be much more just people who are just trying to get a book written. The other great reason for doing NaNoWriMo is that it's great fun. You get to talk to other people and meet other people in your local area who like writing. And you can also find out what sort of novels or books they're writing. Which might give you ideas for future books. Not, I'm not saying you steal other people's ideas, but you might get an idea by talking to other people about what they're writing about. that You can then write down and write as a book as your own. So, as of the recording of this episode, 
I'm just about to start now. I remember. Obviously, when this episode airs, I'll already have done two days of NaNoWriMo, so I should be about 3,000 words into my third Magpies and Magic book. I've still got a few issues to sort out. Every year I've done it, I've always meant to have a complete plan of the book written out before I start. And every single year I always end up planning it while I'm doing it. I thought this year might be different, but I got a bit stuck in the middle of my uh, book plan. And as I've discussed before, what I do is I go into Scrivener and I write little bits in the synopsis, about a sentence or two for each chapter, and then use that for writing against. So I've got about three quarters of it written before I'm starting the month, and hopefully the plan will catch up before I catch up with the plan, so to speak. So once I catch up with where I plan to, I have to then plan the rest of the book. And it's usually worked in previous years. So hopefully I'll be able to finish the third and final Magpies and Magic book in this NaNoWriMo and be thinking about publishing it sometime early next year. To celebrate the fact that I'm starting the final Magpies and Magic book, I've decided that I'll I'll be nice to you listeners and give away three copies of my first book in the series. If you go to the uh, beginselfpublishing.com website and go to beginselfpublishing.com slash NaNoWriMo, you'll see the show notes for this episode. Near the bottom of the post, you'll see a a link where you can click for a free copy of Magpies and Magic. If you click on that, the first 100 people will get access to a service called Book Funnel where you'll be able to download a free ebook copy of the first in my Magpies and Magic series. It's currently $2.99 on the US Amazon store. So make the most of the free copy that's available from our website if you're at all interested in what I would call comedy fantasy. It's obviously a fairly short read, being about 50,000 words long. I'm going to have another few interviews for you in the next few weeks, so I shall talk to you guys next week. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed today's show, please stop by iTunes and rate and leave a review. This helps make the show more visible. For free resources, show notes, and other helpful content, join the community at beginselfpublishing.com. 